Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Node.js tutorial for beginners. And in this video, we will learn how we can pass parameters and parse parameters in URL routes using Express. So in the last video, we have seen how we can, uh, you know, pass these kind of rule routes. And, uh, you know, whenever you uh, ask or whenever you give this kind of URL, for example, your um, IP address and port and then whatever route you give according to this, uh, you know, you see the response, right? But for example, uh, you want to uh, give the dynamic route. So for example, you have some database right now. We don't have a database, but in the future you will be using a database and you want it to, uh, you know, uh, query the database. So you want it want to pass some parameters for example you have the student database and you want the student data uh, using his uh, id or his role number or any other thing for example right so how we can pass parameters in the url we will see in this video using F express so what we do is we are going to i'm go, just going to copy the code which i've written in the last video for this so just copy and paste the same code but instead of this route for example you want a student uh, route so i'm just going to write students here and then we want to get the student according to the id which is given in the url okay so whenever you want to parse any parameter, you give this colon before the parameter name. Okay. So just give the colon, this kind of colon, and then any, uh, you know, ID or name, whatever you want to give. So you can give, for example, name here or surname or age, anything, whatever parameter you want to pass and we will be able to parse that parameter and then according to this we can uh, give the response so for example we want to uh, just pass this id which is passed using the url route okay so in the response for example i'm going to write that uh, you have requested to see the student id and then i'm going to just give the id now in order to parse this id we need to uh, take this request and then dot params and then the name of the id for example id itself okay and let's save the code uh, my node is running using node mon so i don't need to rerun it and i'm going to just uh, go to the browser and here I'm going to just give student and then the student ID, for example, 12, right? And you can see, uh, I think it's students, not students. So I must give here students route. And you can see it gives me the response you have requested to see the student ID 12 because I have passed 12 here, right? I can pass any number here and it will give me that number, right? So once again, any number and I can see this number here, right? In the same way, I can pass the name also. So instead of uh, ID, I can use name and here also name and here also name, right? So name, name and I must write name here and must save my code and then refresh my page using some names so for example mark and then refresh and now it says you have requested to see student name mark now if you will be using some kind of a database then you can uh, you know take this uh, name which is passed using the url and then you can query the database on the basis of this name and then uh, you can give your response so we will take a little example for example we have a json uh, uh, you know data so i'm going to just write for example var students 
and then this is a JSON. So we have a student data JSON. And then I'm going to just write one and one is so role number one or ID one. So ID one is Mark, for example, then ID two is uh, Tom and then ID three is, uh, for example, John. OK, and then I'm going to just replace here name with ID and here also ID and here also ID, right? But we want to, uh, you know, reply on the basis of the ID requested. We want to give the name, right? So here I will write name and the way you can do this is you can just take the students because it's it's a kind of an uh, associative array. You can take the student and then using square bracket, you can, uh, you know, get the value on the basis of key passed here, right? So I'm going to save it and then I'm going to refresh it and I'm going to just give the ID one, for example, right? And it's going to give me Mark, right? Because in our uh, JSON, we have uh, the name Mark as ID one, right? So for example, two, it gives me Tom. And then for example, I pass three, it gives me John, right? So in this way, you can pass parameters as a URL routing in Express. And uh, that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to give you some more uh, insights about Express. So stay tuned and please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.